What's up guys, welcome back to another video. We haven't had the whiteboard out in a while, but it's a special occasion today. Facebook now requires 50 plus conversions per week to start to optimize your ad sets better. So if you don't know this, they brought out an update recently and we're gonna be talking about that and also $5 ad sets. So, so with the conversion guys, what it means is Facebook basically is telling us they need 50 conversions now to either start to optimize or optimize better for us. They haven't really given us a specific term, but optimize. And um, it means two things. So first of all, they need more data. Second of all, it kind of means there's a little bit more competitions. They need more data to um, do, well, figure out what they want to do with our ads. Now there's a couple of things that people get very confused with. We just did a live video this morning, which I'm gonna be putting on YouTube. You guys will see this, but there's a lot of confusion. So a lot of people jump in and they say, oh, but I can't do any testing now with $10 or $5 because I need 50 plus conversions per week. Guys, when you're testing, it's not really that important. Like you're, ju you're just testing. You're trying to figure out what's going on. Your Facebook's gonna, your ads are gonna be riding up and down a little bit. Gonna be a little bit of, um, it's not gonna be very consistent. And that's just the nature of the game when you're testing, right? That's okay. The 50 plus is a long-term thing or the 25 plus that it used to be. It's a long-term thing, guys. So basically what's what's happening there is once you get your winning product, let's say your $5 ad set, <clears throat> then you scale out slowly until you get to 50 plus per week or whatever, right? So just just don't get too caught up because a lot of people are like, oh, but Franklin, I'm trying to test, like, do I need to get 50 conversions a week and all this sort of stuff? Not necessarily on the testing because you're just testing. That's all you're doing. You're not doing anything else at that point. You don't need to worry about all of these future um, stats and all that stuff. All you need to do is worry about the stats at this point of your test, okay? How many purchases you're getting, how many ads to cart, click-through rates, whatever your goal um, data is, that's what you need to concentrate on. So right now, it's 50 plus conversions per week, uh, seven days, which is a week. Um, <clears throat> and that's what you need to, to start to optimize properly. Now, if you're, if you're sitting here and let's say you're getting 40 conversions a week, guys, and you're making profit, and you just want to stay at that, you can. Like, I'm not saying, like, you don't have to get 50 plus a week. It's just, all it's, all it's telling us is that Facebook optimizes better, they get, and it's, it's just better in the long run. So, um, you know, your ad just might not perform as well there as it could. So it's up to you whether you want to up, up it or not. Now, another thing, guys, before we jump into kind of $5 ads and stuff, is... You've got to um, realize that view count, so there's, there's view count, there's add to cart, and there's purchase. That's the main ones. Then we have things like initiate checkout um, in between add to cart and purchase and put in payment info. Now, you've got, so a lot of people are coming in and they're, and they're staying on the purchase and they're like, what, what do I do if I need 50 plus a week now? Well, it's simple. You go to add to cart. You, Facebook has told us over and over again, if you can't get the 50 a week of the, the desired um, specific objective, just go down because you're going to get more add to carts here. So you get, uh, so you'll get more um, conversions. So, or, or the other option guys is to simply stay on your purchase, but start to put your price up, all right? Start to scale out. There's no point in like asking this and that because everything's completely different. Your ads are completely different. You have two options, okay? Two options with this 50 plus stuff now. You increase your budget on whatever objective you're on until you get to 50 plus a week and start to optimize better. Or you simply go down, we'll just say you downgrade. Oh, that's a B, <laughs> so tired. Let's say you downgrade to add to cart or initiate checkout, okay? There's nothing wrong with sitting on add to cart. It's, you're still gonna get sales and stuff. There's nothing wrong with that. Facebook's just not gonna, um, Optimize for purchases, that's all. They're optimize for add to carts. And then if you want, you can change back once you've got some data, blah, 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 whatever. But we're not gonna really get into all of that because it's, those are the two things you can do. It's simple, up your budget or change your, or change your conversion objective. You, Facebook's gonna be changing, guys. I wouldn't be surprised, like, they say 50 is the minimum. They, they, they really tell us like 100 is, is optimal, even more. They, they, want, they want hundreds and hundreds of conversions. If you can't get it on purchase, you're going to have to get it on another one or put your price up, right? That's why once you, you see all these gurus and stuff and they, and they start to scale up, scale up, and they make more money, more money, more money, it's because they're getting into that threshold of Facebook, giving them way more um, weight because of their budgets and ad accounts. 
And a, t a test we did recently, I'll just quickly go over this. A test me and my friend did recently, um, and, a, and a guy, Ryan, in the, on Facebook who agrees with this. Um, so the test we did initially was ad accounts. We tested a bunch of ad accounts, and specific ad accounts worked better for us, ones with more data. And second, the, um, there's no optimization, guys, is only at the ad set. And this has been proven many times before. A lot of people will tell you it's at the, um, it's at the campaign and all that sort of shit. Guys, it's at the ad set alone. That's it, okay? Your ad set has fresh data. That your, your ad set is everything. And I put thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars into testing and so have my, uh, my other mates. And that's exactly what we've found. Because everyone goes out and says, oh, the campaign does optimization. Blah, blah, blah. Even though Facebook has said it's 100%, the ad set, over and over again, people still try and fight it. So instead of me getting into the, into the um, bullshit arguments, I just go out and test. And it's pretty simple, clear cut that ad sets um, is an optimi optimization level and that's it, okay? So it's 50 plus guys per ad set. It's not per campaign or anything like that, okay? It's 50 plus per individual ad set. And just remember, your, all your optimization happens at the ad set. Don't worry about what all the e experts try to say because it's, it's guys, Facebook has said over and over again and that it's their platform that ad sets is where 100% optimization happens. Now sure, your overall account will, will be optimizing your data, like your overall account, I, I'll, you know, the whole thing, you know, including your, um, at your assets, like, and pictures and stuff, you know, it might hold a little bit of data, but this is where the magic happens, all right guys? So just make sure you have 50 plus conversions per ad set if you want to start to optimizing better. It's not necessary. If you're doing good, making money without it, you're good. But just remember that 50 plus is now the requirement for Facebook to start optimizing better. Pref like preferably, pre yeah, yeah, preferably. God, I'm so tired. I've just um, woken up from a mid midday sleep. Um, 100 is better, plus better is better to get really heaps of good optimization, okay guys? Now, one more thing before we go. This was mentioned in our, um, in our Facebook Live thing today. Guys, if also, go to, our, go to the Facebook group that I, that I run. It's in the description below. We just did a two-hour live video on there today for free. Now, um, $5 ad sets, a lot of people say oh, it's, still, it's bogus, they don't work, it's all clickbait and stuff like that for people to sell stuff. I, I kind of guarantee and I kind of don't. So when someone says you can make tons of money off a $5 ad set and they don't tell you that it's for testing, it's misleading. It, that's clickbait. But you can start from a $5 ad set, absolutely nothing wrong with that. But just remember guys, this is for testing only. At some point, you're going to have to upscale this $5 into more money. Upscale again into more money. You can't run these $5 ad sets. Um, like, it, it also depends on what your goal is, right? Let's say you're doing leads, okay? Let's talk about Miles Beckler for a second. So Miles Beckler, um, we'll get rid of this for a second. Miles Beckler does lead campaigns, right? There's no Shopify. And he goes out and gets 30 cent leads most of the time. So it's okay for someone like Miles to go in there and do $5, $5 um, ad sets because he can go in there and get, um, you know, whatever, three, four leads a day. Oh, no, he'll be getting way more than that. He'll be getting um, 10 leads a day, 12, 13, 14. Let's just say he's getting, I think it'll be 13 leads a day. My maths might be off. Let's say he's getting 13 leads a day, guys, from $5. Someone like him can do that. It's no drama. He's, pr he's going to get to his um, 50 plus a week. So, so when some, so because in our live thing today, someone's like, oh, but $5 things are clickbait, blah, blah, blah. It's different with someone like Miles because he's getting these low cost, um, these low cost leads. He can go out there and sit on $5. That's okay. But for example, someone like me, for instance, I pay about $2 per lead because I'm in a more, I'm in a more um, competitive niche. I can't really, I can start on $5 guys, but I have, to, I have to bump it up to 20 as fast as I can or 40. So once again, it's completely depends on your situation. We've got Miles here getting 30 cent leads. He can run on $5 for as long as he likes. You've got me who gets $2 leads, $1 leads. I've got to get up to 20 or 40 as fast as I can. 
Then when you get into Shopify, guys, you've got $4 purchases, you've got $2 add to carts. So you can start off your five, but you have to start scaling up to your tens, to your fifteens, like scaling down, to your twenties, to start to get to, to start to get more and more and more, okay? So the, the whole takeaway from this is five dollar ad sets work. It depends on your situation, what you're selling, um, and all of that sort of stuff. Like I think when today in the in the live video when someone said five dollar ad sets are clickbait. I think people automatically assume that $5 ad sets are the same for everybody. Nothing's the same, guys, okay? So just, we'll, we'll do a little recap. Just think about it. $5, and he's getting 0.30 cent leads. Let's take a Shopify store, for example. $5, and they're getting $3 ad to carts. Completely different scenario, guys. 100% different. He's getting in the 50 plus a week at that point, I think, okay? You're not getting in the 50 plus a week here, you're 50 minus. So what do you do? You up the price. That, that's it, cut, cut and clear. That's it, cut and clear. Start at five, go up and up. If Miles can run his on $5 at 30 cents, he's gonna run it, no problem. He doesn't have to worry about this $5 plus thing. It's fine, uh, $50 plus. But I, I think our Miles does about 20 bucks. Because of course the more the better but this is just an example of not worrying about five dollars in a hole okay don't worry about five dollars at a hole across the board for everybody it's completely different guys completely different we have guys getting 20 cent leads so they can stick to five dollars miles 30 cents so i think you get the um point on that but it's just very important to not just don't think in your mind that everyone's running off the same thing here we all have different objectives, we're all getting different costs. And that's kind of what sets, I think, sets the successful people apart from the rest because the successful people concentrate on their data. Like, um, so I, I just do one more thing here, actually, sorry. So for me, I, I concentrate on, on negative cash flow, po uh, even, and positive cash flow, and my KPIs, right, which is what, Miles was, Miles was talking about this morning in the chat. These are my three things I worry about and my KPIs come after that. What everyone else is going out there and worrying about is, oh, someone said I shouldn't start $5 ad sets. Oh, someone said I shouldn't do this. Oh, but you're contradicting something else. Oh, maybe I should do $20. Oh, hey, what do you think? And you're asking all these questions, guys, when the people that are successful are worrying about their stats, their KPIs, and their cash flow, and the ones that are not really succeeding in this stuff, like I'm not trying to offend anybody, I'm just trying to say the truth. The ones that aren't really um, succeeding are going out and worry about worrying about someone else's $5 ad or asking questions about um, other people's stuff. But you've got to remember that it's completely different. Now, don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with asking questions. I, I advise, I tell people to do that all the time. But what I'm trying to say is worry about your, um, your cost per lead or cost per acquisition worry about your cash flow, worry about your KPIs, then you'll figure everything out, okay? Some people simply can't start on $5. They have to start on 50, maybe. If you're getting, like, if you're paying, like, I think, um, let's say, for example, my course, okay, guys? My course, I sell from anywhere to 1,000 to 200, depending on my, what kind of promotion I'm doing, depending on what part of the course I'm selling. If I go out and um, I'm selling my course for, say, $500, I'm not gonna start on five dollar ad sets, am I guys? I'm gonna start at 50 or 100 or something, so you see? So it depends on a lot of stuff, depends on the price, depends on everything, guys. So that's it for this video today, guys. Just a quick one, I'm off to Queenstown in a minute. In a few hours, just wanted to get this out. We're going down to the snow. But just remember, guys, 50 plus in seven days now for your optimization, okay, on Facebook. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video, and there should be a live video coming up about 24 hours after this one.